Hello everyone. I will be discussing the tips of phacoemulsification in small pupil without the use of any pupil expansion device so as to avoid trauma to the sphincters in any case. A grade 2 to 3 nucleus sclerosis can easily be managed without the use of such device. So this is a case where we have around 4 mm dilated pupil with all intraoperative and preoperative attempts made to dilate the pupil such as topicamide and phenylephrine, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and intraoperative adrenaline. Here I am proceeding with the rexes. Make the rexes a little larger than the size of the pupils for the easier emulsification of the nucleus. The rexes is being completed here. Now I am doing the gentle hydro maneuvers over here and trying to rotate the nucleus. The viscodispersive agent should always be used to coat the endothelium before you try to emulsify the nucleus. Completely chop the nucleus for easier emulsification of the nucleus later on and the emulsification should always be done at the iris plane. Don't try to come very near to the endothelium to avoid the damage to the cornea and also do not go very deep because you are not clearly seeing the things out here. Now you can see the nucleus fragment is being easily emulsified and I am trying not to touch the iris as it further constricts the iris and I do not want that. All the nuclear fragments are being emulsified here. And the cortical removal is very important. So first thing be very gentle and second thing try to remove all the cortical matter whatever you can see and inspect for any residual cortical matter so the cortical cleanup should be very good and very gentle the polishing of the capsule should be done to ensure there is no residual cortical matter and also that there is no migration of the LECs later I have successfully completed the phaco emulsification and the cortical cleanup and the IOL is being injected now Complete visco removal is done here and the surgery is thereby completed.